Welcome back to the Maths Guy everybody. Today we're looking at simplifying fractions. Let's jump into it. So we're going to look at these two questions today and we're going to follow these three steps. First step says we're going to find factors of each and each means both the numbers in our fraction. The numerator, this top number, and the denominator, our bottom number. Then step two says we're going to look for the highest common factors or the greatest common factor, and then we're gonna divide our existing numerator and denominator by this highest common factor. So let's see what that looks like. Let's start here with question one, three sixths. So what we're doing when we're simplifying a fraction is we're trying to find the fraction using the smallest digits to represent the fraction. So before we start, let me show you a fraction wall and show you what I mean. So this is a fraction wall, and we can see our three sixths would be here. I can see it on this row and 3 6 would occupy that amount of my whole. But what I can do is look up or down the fraction wall to find equivalent fractions. So I could look down here and see that, okay, 4 eighths is the same as my 3 sixths. They share the same value, but are expressed in a different fraction. But 4 eighths is going the wrong way. 4 eighths is using bigger numbers to express the fraction. What we want to do is find simple small numbers. So I'm going to look up my fraction wall for something that shares the same value up this line. And here we go, I can see one. There we are, the 1 half. So 3 sixths in its simplest form would be 1 half. But that's using a fraction wall. We're going to do it using a written method. So step one was to find factors of each. So the easiest way to find a factor is to draw a factor tree. So I'm going to have my three over here and my six over here, and I'm going to look for their factors. So we always, with a factor tree, start with one multiplied by the number itself because we know they're going to be factors, and then I'm going to look for any more. Two, does two work? Can I multiply two by anything to get three? No, I can't. And I'm back to three, which will be then multiplied by one. So I don't need to show that because that's using the same factors. So the only factors of three are one and three. Now if I look at six, I will, I'll start with one and six again, but this time I have a two, because two times three also equals six, and if I did a third, then it would only be three times two, which I already have, so I don't need to do it. Okay, so I've drawn my factor trees of each number. Now I'm gonna look at step two, which says look for the highest common factor. So highest common factor, what does that mean? Well, highest means the greater number, common means is in both of my numbers, and factor is the factors that we've just made. So I'm gonna look for the highest number that's on both of these. Well, I've got a one on both, but that's not the highest value. So that's not what I'm looking for. Here we go, I can see a three, and that's our highest common factor. So in this case, our highest common factor is three. Now, step three says to divide using this highest common factor. So I'm going to divide both my numerator and my denominator now by this three. So three divided by three is one, and six divided by three is two. And look what we've got to. We've got to our one half. And as we saw in our fraction wall, one half was our simplified fraction. Let's have a look at a more challenging one, nine fifteenths. And we can actually see on my fraction wall, it doesn't even go down to 15, so we can't use that. So we're going to have to use our new technique. And the first thing to do is find factors of each, the numerator and the denominator. So let's start with our 9. Nine's factors are 1 and 9. 2 doesn't work because it's an odd number, but I can do 3 times 3. And they are the only factors of 9. Now I can get my 15. And again, start logically, 1 multiplied by 15. 2 doesn't work because it's an odd number, 3 times 5, 4 doesn't work, and 5 would only be times 3, so we know we don't need that. So these are the only factors of 15. Now I'm going to look for that highest common factor, and I can see that in this case it is actually, again, 3. So step 3 said to divide using our highest common factor, so I'll do 9 divided by 3, which is 3, and 15 divided by 3, which is 5. So our simplified fraction in our simplest form is 3 fifths. Okay, there we are. That is how to simplify a fraction. Things to remember. First, find factors of the numerator and the denominator. 
then look for the highest common factor within those two groups, and then use this factor as a dividend and divide the existing numerator and denominator by it. So I've got three questions for you to try and work out. Have a go at answering these, put your answers in the comment section, and I'm gonna try and mark every single one. And there we have it guys, that is simplifying a fraction. Hopefully this video has been helpful. If it has, think about subscribing to the channel. We make daily videos here, so lots of maths to learn. But for now, peace out.